thing and what bobbers I'm actually wearing. I need to check on that. I do want the set just for the heck of it, I think. And um, 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 let's see, twenty. Oh, uh, can sell those because those are not going to be used again. Not entirely sure about these. Can I check Meryl? <coughs> oh. 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 That uh, that's quite a lot better. Actually, I'm going to have to look into that. Meryl. And weapons. I think that one's going to be better one. And well, good luck to you then. And and and. Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to see if I can just. Talk to Meryl. Sh there. <sighs> no. Meryl! There we go. That's kind of nice. I forgot you actually can just walk to them. By the dread wolf! Oh, I still can't always? talk more to her. That sucks. Though, I must admit, I can't quite decide who I want to romance, because Isabella is so Isabella, all kinds of awesome. You're a captain. That's right, big girl. What of it? I don't remember your name on any registries. Every ship that docks has to declare. I never docked. And you're no port authority. And you are no merchant. <laughs> Ooh, scrutiny. <laughs> Oh, you're not gonna get along. I am quite sure. Uh, let's see here. Find his keepers? I'm looking for some cargo. You're in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. <laughs> a laborer with a smart mouth. You hardly ever see those. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for crates sealed by the Olesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Uh, let's see. He's up there then. Okay. Back up right. we go. Merry little chase, isn't it? Watch out by the Canari compound. They seem very angry. Ugh, they're not very angry. They're just different. If you see a blonde elf girl, run. She's probably a blood mage. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Shipping manifest. Speak sense, man. Oops. The shipping that manifest for your what ship. I intended to, but okay. Have to know what cargo is coming through Kirkwall. Viscount's rules, not mine. You should take credit for those rules. <laughs> Adam, deal with this. <laughs> I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the harbor master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a legion cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. <laughs> I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. I'm not paying for this. Then I am deeply sorry I could not be of more assistance. Good day. <sighs> Liam leaves his office at nightfall. We could sneak in after dark, take a look at his records. Well, I like your idea. Let's go for that. I don't want to pay bribes just 
for the sort of it. <coughs> Let's come back. Night. Nah, I'm not sure if, my, if I'm doing this right, but we'll see. Um, it was... In there, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Let's go, ladies. Oh, doggies. Speaking of doggies. Hello, Apollo. Go down. I don't remember what to do when they were staggered. Ah, oh, sod. Oh. Warehouse to the east. East, east, east. Oh, yeah, all the way up. All the way up to the other side. Don't want to go into the Canary compound, isn't that what that is? Yeah, it is. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Attack. <laughs> You're bright, aren't you? I mean, like, really bright? <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's see. I'm in your warehouse stealing all your stuff. Ah, uh, let's see. Doubt there. Oh, hello. Forgetting. Um, uh, go. That was exciting. <laughs> uh, Meryl, you shall forever be awesome. I'm guessing I'm that's the look the look the that was silly. Okay. Black Hand. A blend of 27 toxic plant essences with a healthy dollop of cobra venom for that extra kick. That poison will kill a man in two breaths. Can I have it? <laughs> no, you cannot. It is mine. Let's see here. Stuff. More What's stuff? a step? Well, that should do it. Torn trousers. Awesome. Um, oh, another bear. <coughs> Let's see. Lots of raven feathers about today. Um, there's one more room to look into. Oh, hello. There. 
Keepers. Oh, back to the hangman. Okay. And oops. Like, which reminds me, I should actually save because I haven't done that yet. There we go. To the hangman we go. fun and games on the sea though there are storms and hostile pirates and it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months you're a woman exactly and I don't usually let them touch me so they get frustrated I insist all of them get alone time helps with the crankiness they're already lonely why would you insist they be alone some more <laughs> oh, Meryl what did I miss something? Go think about it. Maybe it'll come to you. <laughs> Meryl is just too adorable. I mean, come on. Hello, Martin. Guess what I found? Crates filled with enough poison <coughs> to assassinate every noble in Orlay, and then some. I knew I should have told you not to look in the crates. Look. There's nothing shady going on here. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. Hm. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. Oh, so, really? where is it? Ugh. Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place. I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. Fair enough. No things considered, that wasn't so bad. Uh, discount is always nice. I am a dirty thief and a rogue and everything like that. Um, I think I'm actually going to go out and um, Sunder Mount wasn't there where the elves were as well. I seem to recall I needed to talk to them. I may be terribly wrong though. I have no idea. Um, well, the dailies are here at least. Just going to... Sorry for just running around aimlessly, but... This... As I've said before, I really do want to try to complete as much as I possibly can, which means that I will be running around like headless the chicken. You all leave this place for better. I think Master Island is going to murder me because of the Ironwood. Have you thought about going to the Keeper and begging for amnesty? 
tale of Elorn. <coughs> In the days after the rising of Zazikel, the Dark Ones covered every corner of the land. The Ark Demon drove all the nations of the world before him, Shemlin and Elvahin alike. In the far north, where the hills wander the plains and the earth is eternally baked beneath the uncaring sun, the lands which the Shemlin call Anderfels, a clan of our people lived, struggling to survive the blight. Iloran was their keeper, a hunter in his younger days, crafty as any wolf. He led his people always just ahead of the darkspawn who chased them. But the old hunter knew that, at the, that even Hala cannot run forever. They must turn and fight or be run down. At the foot of the Myrdain, the darkspawn cornered Iloran's clan. That night, the moon was strangled by clouds, the earth concealed by a dread mist that rose out of nowhere so that the elven could not tell up from down. In the confusion, the darkspawn attacked. But Iloran had prepared for them. All around the camp, the hunters had soon dried grass, brush and brambles. Had strewn, even. Uh, when the sound of rustling footfall began, Iloran and the other uh, Haran called upon the old magic. They struck out with lightning, and though the bolts missed the darkspawn, they hit the target all the same. The sea of kind kindling lit, and not one of each one of the dark creatures made it through the fire to reach Iloran's clan. Oh, actually, Sathrian wrote that. Hmm. May the dread wolf never hear your footsteps, child. That's Watch interesting. Watch your steps, yeah. You don't know how many Dalish arrows are trained on you right now. I really like their, um... Their, um... Shem. Accent. Make your business here quick. Arlathan, part one. Before the ages were named or numbered, our people were glorious and eternal and never changing. Like the great oak tree, they were constant in their traditions, strong in their roots and ever reaching for the sky. They felt no need to rush when life was endless. They worshipped their gods for months at a time. Des decisions came after decades of debate, and an introduction could last for years. From time to time, our ancestors would drift into centuries-long slumber, but this was not death, for we know they wandered the fading dreams. In those ages, our people called all the land Elbhenan, which, is in the old, which in the old language means place of our people, and at the center of the world stood the great city of Arlathan, a place of knowledge and debate, where the best of the ancient elves would go to trade knowledge, greet old friends, and settle disputes for that had gone on for millennia. But while our ancestors were caught up in the forever cycle of ages, drifting through life, at what we today would consider an